both Cape Town Blitz and the Pearl Rocks lost their previous game, so both are looking to get back to winning ways. But Cape Town Blitz still stand at the top of the table. We've already had the toss of the coin, which here at Newlands can be very, very important. Chasing can be really tough under light. And we've seen that Faf Duplessis has won the toss. And not surprising, he has chosen to bat first. Be interesting to see what a winning target will be. Just having a look at the teams, Cape Town Blitz have just made the one change. Fresca Adams comes in for Kyle Rain, and Paul Rocks are unchanged. That's in the air, into the gap, and it'll be the first boundary of the game. Oh, that's really good by him in terms of manoeuvring himself around in the crease and making some room for himself. And he's getting in the over with a maximum, 12 without loss. Edged, and lucky four runs for Dalcourt. Beautiful shot, straight down the ground. There's nothing better than a straight drive. Good length, Dale. Awesome, Dale. Beautiful pickup into the crowd. Wow, these two opening batters are looking good. It was Mark Trump's turn. What a shot that was. Yeah, Another that's pickup, it. but this time around, he hasn't got hold of it. Very similar shot to the last one he hit for six. This time hitting the toe end of the bat, it seems like, and the timing wasn't quite there. And a good catch by Nawaz to get rid of the dangerous Markham. Sorry, Asif Ali, and uh, that's the first wicket is down. 28 for one, Markham gone for eight. That's too full. And he's onto it very, very quickly. A nice way to finish the over. Three overs gone, 32 for one. What a catch! Down the leg side. It's not easy fielding there. You might be unsighted for a time. That's a good catch. And a big wicket. He was looking dangerous. He was looking to play his strokes. And he scored 24 in no time. And he was very unlucky. Hit the ball well, went straight to the fieldsman. Wild judge catch. A danger man departs after scoring 24. And it's 35 for two now. Nice timing, beautiful stroke for four runs. He's off the mark in style. All short, wide, does he get enough of it? He does. Such a shorter boundary on the offside. And he just had to get it up and it just seemed to go with the wind. Not on. And that's gone for another boundary. First he was short and wide, this time too full. What a shot! Don't even look, and delay, it's gone. Forget about it. It's not a good start to the over. Six, four, and then another six. Pesukwai, once again, two, four. Run, 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 run. Strong down the ground. Oh, he nearly good, good piece of fielding. Gets a hand to it, went for a, a boundary. You look at the bit, and that's an edge. He's gone. Van Jasfeld looking for the big heave on the onside and Sibota strikes. Gets his first wicket in his second over and he breaks a promising partnership. Van Jasfeld gone for 14. Well, hard work. Paying for Cape Town Blitz. A couple of overs were very quiet for Paul Drox. And batsmen started to feel the pressure. Employed an expensive stroke, had to pay the price. He walks back, leaving his mom dejected. It's 14, his personal effort, 84 for three. Oh, he's hit that over the top. What a fantastic shot. 100 on the board. 
Very nicely done by Faf Duplessis. Half century for him, and it's his 24th of his T20 career. That's in the air, hit into the gap, and four runs. To give yourself a bit of room. Yeah, the length really helping the batsman on that occasion. Well, he's going over the top, out towards third. Not enough bat on it. And in the end, the ploy works, albeit maybe not in the prettiest fashion. It never looked comfortable. Bravo in this innings. He attempted too many strokes. Only much success once. That was a heave. Edging it on a simple catch at third man. Briefly accepted. He comes good. Burger. 10 was the contribution from Bravo and it's 115 for four. Yeah, they're going for two. It's good running. Again, want the second run. This time around, is that there's a massive risk. It's not a direct throw, but Quinton Lecoq is very quick at taking the bales off. Well, it was like they were just going to go whatever, and this went straight to, straight to Pef Lecoy. I think this is close. You could just see straight away the visa, as he hit it, like he did the ball before, said, I tell you what, we are going to take him on, and gone. Oh, you team. David Visser, though, just seemed a little slow in turning, and he's run out for three, 120 for five. Thank you, Wow! Gets himself off the mark, end of the 15th over, 121 for five. Powerful. I think this will go all the way. Maybe just one bounce. Slow ball this time. Up in the air. Got him. And that's the big wicket. That's the big fish they wanted. Duplicy gone. Delstein with the slow ball. And look at the celebration. It's the big wicket and they know it. Yeah, tried to use his wrist, didn't he? Tried to just flick it through the leg side. Was done all ends up. Right, the experience of staying, slower delivery. And all he did was chip it in the air. Watch the celebrations. Gamble by the captain to bring him in. And he's drilled it home for his team. Short, dropped. Mohamed Nawaz put it down and it could have been a double wicket over for Dale Steyn. It's the end of his spell, two for 22, 16 gone, 126 to six. Strong shots, but I don't think he gets enough of it. Should be taken, is taken. The innings is falling apart. Saboto picks up another one. Well, one thing you associate with Saboto, that he's economical, but he's becoming dangerous. He's picking up wickets regularly in this Mzanzi Super League. That was his second in this game. Shelley walks back after scoring two, and it's 131 for seven. Does he get enough of it? It may just fall in. No, better catch, good catch. He certainly redeemed himself as a fielder. He dropped a dolly and grabbed a difficult one. Well judged catch. Another wicket gone. Wicket number eight, and Patterson gone for six. 132 for eight. This one is going to go up in the air, should be a wicket. It's dropped. Burst right through his hands, should have taken it. Two drop catches from the blitz. Last ball. If he hits, he's out. Brilliant from Quinton de Kock. 
been a good performance by the Cape Town Blitz. Remember, after the Parade power play, the Pole Rocks were 62 for two. They've got a wicket in the last ball. And the innings has completed, 144 for nine. And you could just see wickets, wickets have fallen regularly. Big wicket of uh, Francois Duplessis. And Dale Stain taking that. And eventually, the innings finished with a whimper, 144 for nine. Ballers were good, especially Stain. He picked up the wicket at the right time. And in the last five overs, they only gave away 23 runs and picked up four wickets. That's where the difference was made. And the Cape Town Blitz, when they require 145 runs to win at just over seven runs per over. Does he get enough of it? It's a top edge. I think this will just go over, but it plugs. That's in the air and should clear everything for a six. Quentin de Kock is not yet to mess around. Good. Again. Gets it up, it's a bit fuller, but it's going to race away. Powered through the leg side. I think that's going into the brewery. No. Didn't get it as well as I thought, or as square as it was, but it's gone all the way. And was punished. Slow ball. Well played, well timed back to, by Quinton Dukaka, and it's gone for another boundary. It's a really good shot. Oh, this is just heaved over onto the leg side. Another boundary. They want to win this in the first uh, power A power play. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Is an appeal. Does this hit his pad first? The umpire says no. He's given a run. In the air, and it'll be four. One bounce again, short by Visa. Dukak is looking really good here. Well, it's a thick edge, and it's flown away. If you get a flash, flash hard. Make it seven. Quinton de Kock at his belligerent best. Oh, he's going to go after it. He's got some license now. And it's working in his favour and his teams. 50 up. Oh, you looked good from the word go. Quinton de Kock. They want the second. They've gone quickly. The throw comes in. And in the end, I think they've made it through, possibly. Will the umpires possibly have a look at this? They seem like they're okay. 72 with that loss. Call for two. We'll just hit it through extra cover. And you hear the call for two there from Quinton straight away. Waited for that so Come nicely. Up. He had to. The pace was taken off, and they're going to take another two. Just piles the pressure on the opposing captain. 79 without loss. Reverse heap. That's a misfield. That's another boundary. Piling on the misery here. Quentin de Kock to the power rocks. Moreki straight through him. Yeah, he was taken for 13 runs in the opening over and conceding a boundary of the first one. Huge pressure. Tonight, he's been excellent against the spin and he finds the gap yet again. And he's showing good footwork. It wasn't a short delivery. 
300 runs for Decock in Mzanzi Super League. End of the over, halfway through, 96 without loss. Quentin Decock finds the gap. It's going to be another boundary to start the over. Short, wasn't that wide. He created some room by backing away. Cuts it away for four. He just makes room, doesn't he? That's what he does. 100 up. Pulled through the offside. Another boundary. This is easy work for these openers. Worrying times for uh, Faf du Plessis. In the air. It's a wicket. Wasn't sure whether David Visa had taken it. A little bit of relief for Faf du Plessis. And a wicket for Shamsi. Oh, he gets the breakthrough. Shamsi, the wicket taker. Yanaman Malan came down the wicket. Googly. Perhaps they didn't read it. So trying to heave it on to the young side, gets the thick outside edge. And a nice, comfortable catch for Visa. So that's their first wicket down. Milan, gone for 26, 105 for one. What a start. One of his favorite shots, this. Extra cover drive, and he's off with a boundary. Not a good start by Shamsi after getting the wicket. Too wide, too much width. Might have been a wide had he uh, missed that. Boundary again. Poor delivery from Mareki, and just races away. Ill-directed delivery. The ball a slow one. Just helping the ball on its way for four runs. Down the ground. Duplessis, one hand to it. Careful, that shoulder. It's what you don't want to see when he's underneath them sort of catches. He can't not go for it. That's the sort of person he is, and you just worry that he doesn't hurt that shoulder. Goes one-handed. Falls on it as well. Clever. What a shot. That goes all the way. Just like, like a little flick. Out of here. Just use the pace and the length. And a great result. In the air, this could be the end of Quinton de Kock. It is. He's living with himself. He had a hundred on a plate for him. And Dwayne Bravo, who uh, takes a wicket, and the end of a very good innings from South Africa's best opener. Yeah, enjoyable, thoroughly enjoyable. This innings was played beautifully. Oh, easy, easy catch for Duplessis. Doesn't drop many. Mr. Hundred. Asif Ali, he's not on strike. Oh, big appeal. This is close. Given out. Bravo has two in two. Gets rid of the dangerous Quinton de Kock, and then the next ball, he knew it was a slower delivery. He just missed it. Two in two for Bravo. Excellent delivery, and it was a full two. Pitch within the stumps, easy decision for the umpire to make. He's on a hat trick. Bravo. Milan walks back after scoring seven, and it's 127 for three. Another slower one comes out as a full toss. He tried it again. I think with that shot, you know exactly what the captain thinks. All the way, top edge, six. Looking to bend his back, generate a lot of pace, and such a strong played. Oh, you got a feel for the bottom. Yeah, you got to 
Bet he won't care. Well, whether this comes off the bat or off his shoulder, he's just decided, no, oh, runs again. He's apologising to the bowler. Fafti Bless, he's smiling, but all he's thinking about, Behedian, is win this game, get the bonus point, and let's get going. He's gone for it, but unfortunately, he has to walk back. Wicket number four. Go across the line and a nice easy catch. So 141 for four, Ali gone for two. We'll just take the single, so he'll play a little bit more orthodox. One required for victory now. Using his feet, and that's it. Bonus point victory for the Cape Town Blitz. They have played superbly well. And to win it in the 16th over, chasing that 145 with six wickets in hand, that's a hiding. Yeah, it's a good team performance. This is the winning runs. Pet Lequire driving down the ground through extra cover. Lovely drive as well by the left-hander. Exacted a run out today as well. A little bit expensive with the ball, but he's played his part. As did most of the Cape Town Blitz players. When you don't have that many runs on the board and the rest of the bowlers are going for runs, you're fighting a losing battle. Cape Town Blitz though, were brilliant tonight, showing why they're one of the best in the tournament. So they are 30 points now with one game to go six wins they've had already and that's a brilliant performance the net run rate has gone past one now as well so Paul Rocks I'm afraid with two games to go are finding themselves lagging behind by a long way to try and get a chance to play in that playoff